Hello, my name is Alex Martin. I'm an applications engineer at Unitronics. This video will introduce the Jazz2 Ethernet module, the MJ20 ET1, its uses, as well as setup and configuration using the U90 software from Unitronics. The MJ20 ET1 allows communication over TCP IP as a master or a slave. You can communicate using the Modbus IP protocol also as a master or a slave. It would allow communication to other Unitronics PLCs. Also you can utilize third-party Ethernet uh, devices. Once implemented you'll be allowed to connect uh, and download and upload and debug with U90 Ladder. You can connect to SCADA by Uni OPC. And the supported Jazz 2 models are the JZ20 R10, the JZ20 R16, and the JZ20 R31. Uh, please note that there are requirements to use the Ethernet module. You must use U90 Ladder version 6.4.0 or greater. Also, you cannot use the Ethernet connection to download any OS updates. Once a JAS2 model is selected, uh, the Ethernet configuration option will appear in the project navigation window within the tools folder, as shown here. Uh, once you click on this, it will open up the Ethernet configuration window. Selecting uh, use Ethernet check, uh, the Use Ethernet checkbox will allow the configuration of um, all the Ethernet options. This will assign a vector of 26 MIs for the Ethernet functions. The start of this vector can be assigned anywhere from MI0 all the way to MI229 from a drop-down menu in the top right of the configuration window. If you're adding this to an existing program, you'll need to ensure that no other values will write to this uh, assigned uh, vector space. The option to set the controller to either a server or a client must be set in the configuration window. Unfortunately, it cannot be dynamically changed. This is set down here in the bottom. In this example, I set the um, Jazz PLC to a server. After the TCP IP mode is chosen, information for the server or client settings can be set. Uh, information um, from the configuration can be stored into selected MIs by choosing the force on card init option next to each of the uh, different server or client um, data. Each IP will contain one byte per MI address, so the IP address will take up four MIs. Also, PLC name, keep alive, and activity, inactivity timer options can also be entered. Uh, please note that the PLC name is at maximum eight characters. Uh, when programming, it is also important to know the different Ethernet system operands. Uh, system bit 22 is read only. It goes high when the MJ20 ET1 module is attached. System bit 23 is also read-only. It goes high when the Ethernet port is initialized. System bit 24 goes high when a connection is made, either when connecting to a remote host when in client mode or when connected um, in server mode. System bit 25 is defined by the user. Uh, when in client mode, setting this bit attempts to establish a connection with a remote host. And when in server mode, this initiates listen mode. Uh, this is required for both options to establish a connection. Uh, system bit 24 will only go high after this option has been implemented, which is defined by the user. Also, system bit 26, when in client mode, the user may set this bit to terminate the Ethernet session. To connect to the device, the program must first be downloaded via a serial connection. Uh, once it's downloaded and system bit 25 has been set to enter listen mode, we can establish a connection to our controller. In the PC communications port settings, select TCP IP call from the drop down menu. Then the IP, port number, and PLC name can then be entered into the TCP IP address menu. Again, please note that the PLC name can be at most eight characters maximum. Uh, this concludes the PowerPoint presentation. I will now open a small example program that uses the Jazz Ethernet module.
As we can see, I selected the JZ20 R31 Jazz 2 PLC. After that, I selected down here in the bottom under Tools, the Ethernet configuration option appears. After selecting Use Ethernet, it's assigned the vector of 26 MIs. I've set mine starting at MI0, but again, it can go all the way to MI229 at the start of this vector. I've set the TCP IP mode to Server and entered all the server information up here, which is also forced on card initialization. To establish a connection, we go under Controller, OPLC Settings. Again, I've selected the TCP IP call. Then I've entered in the IP address, the port number, and the PLC name. What I must do then is set system bit 25, which then initializes uh, the controller and prepares uh, listen mode so that we can make a connection. I'll do that now on the controller. I should now be able to make a connection and just get the version. All right. Now I can go online with the controller. For this program, I set a couple of system bits on the HMI display screen. I've set system bit 22, which shows that the ET1 module is installed. System bit 23 has gone high now that we've initialized the controller. And system bit 24 is high because we've established a connection. Earlier, right before I connected, I just had to pulse system bit 25 which started listen mode and initialized uh, the Ethernet module. Now, now that we're online, we see that when I press certain system bits, linked to key 1 and key 2, that MB0 and MB1 go high. I can now go offline. This concludes how to configure and connect using the MJ20 ET1 Jazz2 Ethernet module. I hope you found the information helpful. Thank you.